Hello guys, Wes Harrison with Above and Beyond Auto Repair and I'm on my way back from California from doing, California, Colorado from doing some indoor skydiving training. And I'm making some videos about the most common asked questions about auto repair information. And in this one we're going to do symptoms of a automatic transmission problem. Now when somebody calls me up and they'll say, Wes, how much is a transmission service? That's red flag number one. My first question is, what's the transmission doing? What's your car doing? Is it shifting funny? Does it feel like it's slipping? Or what? What's going on? 95% of the time, they'll tell me what it's, it's acting up. 95% of the time, it's too late to do a transmission service if it's already acting up. Or there's another failure going on with either a solenoid in the valve body or or the the actual transmission controller itself. As a general rule of thumb, if you're over 70 to 80,000 miles and the transmission's never been serviced and all of a sudden you're having transmission issues, it's generally too late. The damage has been done. Um, my recommendation would be to save the money on the transmission service and see, seek professional advice, try and get a second opinion. What I would do is I would pull the pan down and I would look for chunks, shiny metal, or any shiny metal. Now the black little magnetic particles that are in there uh, that collect around the magnet look like uh, iron oxide, it's just black. That's normal wear and tear from the from the clutches and that's, that's absolutely normal. There's nothing wrong with that. What I'm talking about is shiny, like shiny like my sunglasses, uh, shiny metal particles down the bottom. The shiny metal is actually aluminum from the aluminum transmission or from the aluminum case of the transmission. That's where something's rubbing up against there and it falls down into the bottom of the pan. There's definitely an issue. If there's any chunks of anything, there's definitely an issue. If you put your car into gear and it doesn't do anything for a while, that's generally a sign of one of two things. Either the transmission fluid is low, which would be the very first thing to check, and when you're checking your transmission fluid, smell it. Make sure it doesn't smell burnt. It should be a red color, um, with the exception of Chrysler. There's some that are clear. Whatever it is, it shouldn't be burnt, shouldn't be brown, shouldn't be black. Um, it should be nice and clean. If you feel it, it shouldn't feel gritty and it shouldn't smell burnt. Those are the tips. If it smells burnt, it's done. I hate to be so blunt about it, but that's the way it is. Now, Ford's, Ford's here's the one exception. Uh, Ford transmission uses a shaft that goes all the way across the transmission to drive the pump, and that shaft likes to break. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that it needs a whole new transmission. It definitely needs a new pump drive shaft and usually a torque converter. At that point, the transmission still has to come out anyways. Now here's the catch. It, the labor to pull the transmission out because the whole subframe has to come out to do the repair doesn't justify just doing just the torque converter in the input shaft when the transmission has 100 plus thousand miles on it because the transmission's probably not gonna last much longer anyways, especially if it hasn't been serviced. So you'll save like $500, but you're still gonna spend 1500 bucks. It's it's expensive, and I know it's expensive, and I'm sorry, but I'm trying to save you a couple hundred dollars from getting a transmission service done and then being told, well, it didn't help, you know, and now you're out, now you're out that money for the transmission fluid, the labor, and the filter kit, and all that stuff. Now, the other kind of a transmission service that they'll do is they can suck the fluid out and then they'll put new fluid in. Usually, that's just a complete waste of money also because you didn't change the filter. Plus, you didn't look down in the bottom of the pan to see if there was any metallic, if there's any metallic shavings or chunks or anything. It's definitely done. Stop right there. Don't, don't do any more. Um, other symptoms. If you go to step on the gas, you're on the highway, you step on the gas and it takes a while to get going and you watch your RPM gauge go up and then the car slowly starts to take off and the RPM gauge is coming down, that's a slipping transmission. If it's already slipping, what it's doing is the friction material and the clutches are just burning themselves alive. And, and again, nothing in the world is going to help it with the exception of a transmission overhaul or replacement. The other symptom of a transmission problem that's too late is the 
it won't go into drive, but it'll back up. That means it lost the clutch pack somewhere, and it's an internal failure. And a transmission service won't help that. So if your transmission's doing anything funny, before you spend the money on a transmission service, have it checked. Get it. Get in a second opinion. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, you want me to take your transmission for a spin to see if I think it, it's acting funny or anything, by all means, stop by uh, or give us a call. 816-453-8282. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions I can, try and guide you in the right direction. Um, you can find us online at aboveandbeyondautorepair.com. And again, this is Wes Harrison, and I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope these automotive repair videos uh, help you out. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Have a good day. Bye-bye. 816-453-8282. Talk to you later. Bye.